Hello and welcome to this informational presentation on the dual degree program in medicine and aerospace engineering or MDMS program brought to you by the University of Colorado School of Medicine and the University of Colorado Boulder Department of Aerospace Engineering Sciences. Our goal in this presentation is to provide you a little bit of information on the background and goals of our program, the curriculum, as well as the application process. First, I wanted to start by introducing the team. My name is Ben Easter. I'm an Associate Professor of Emergency Medicine at the University of Colorado School of Medicine and also serve as the Program Director. Next is Dr. Allie Anderson. She's an Assistant Professor of Aerospace Engineering at the University of Colorado Boulder and serves as the Boulder Site Director. Next is Dr. Arian Anderson. He's an Instructor in Emergency Medicine at the School of Medicine and serves as the Anschutz Site Director. And finally, our senior leadership is Dr. Jay Lemery. Jay is a professor of emergency medicine and head of the section of wilderness medicine. Our program was born out of the recognition that the next generation of leaders in human spaceflight require multiple skill sets. Certainly, clinicians are well suited to developing skills in space medicine. But success in the future of human spaceflight really requires an integration of skills in both medicine and engineering. So what we've developed here is a formal degree in aerospace engineering uh, in which graduates will receive an MS in engineering with an emphasis on bioastronautics. And our, our hope and our goal is that graduates of the program will go on to pursue their clinical training and then be able to support governmental and commercial space agencies or uh, academia. One thing we want to advertise up front is this is not specifically clinical aerospace medicine training. Clinical aerospace medicine training has a separate residency and board certification process. And that's not what we're doing here. What we are doing here is equipping future clinicians in human spaceflight with the engineering skills to be able to succeed. This is what the overall curriculum looks like for the program. This is a five-year joint degree program between the School of Medicine and the Department of Aerospace Engineering. And it looks fairly similar to many dual degree programs. Students will complete the uh, first three years of courses in medical school on the Anschutz campus. And we'll actually be able to transfer in several uh, or three courses of credits into the master's program. During year four, they will then take a leave of absence from medical school and enroll full time in Boulder, where they will complete the majority of their master's courses. And finally, in year five, they will come back to the School of Medicine to complete the medical curriculum and apply for residency. And over the course of that fifth year, they'll need to complete one master's course um, that's still remaining. At the end of this curriculum, um, you will receive uh, both a, a medical doctorate and a master's in aerospace engineering with a focus in bioastronautics. Our, our goal at this uh, point in the program is to enroll one to three students per year. Bioastronautics is the study and support of human life in spaceflight. So we want to give you a flavor of some of the research that's going on in this field. In the top left corner, you see short arm, uh, short arm centrifuge that's used for artificial gravity and motion sickness research. In the next picture to the right, you see spacecraft habitat design using virtual and augmented reality. Next, you see ECLIS or environmental control and life support air revitalization technologies. And finally, in the top row on the right, you see evaluation of cockpit designs and displays. Starting on the bottom row on the left-hand side, you see studies of vestibular perception and spatial disorientation. In the next picture, looking at bioregenerative life support systems. In the next picture, looking at human machine teaming and how humans uh, trust that process. And then finally, in the lower right, you see uh, textiles with embedded electrodes that can help perform uh, uh, telemetry monitoring. So this is just to give you an idea of the types of research that are happening at Boulder within bioastronautics. This is what the engineering curriculum looks like during the fourth year of the program. Um, students have uh, required courses that you can see in the upper left, space life sciences, uh, spacecraft habitat design, in which you'll start with a, um, uh, a need for a uh, theoretical mission. 
and then decompose that need using the systems engineering process into the specific requirements um, and needs that humans have within a spacecraft, and then actually uh, develop a uh, develop a spacecraft and a mission with a focus on the needs of the humans in that mission. And that final core course is Medicine in Space and Surface Environments, or MISI, and I'll talk about that more in the next slide. In the lower left, you'll see some courses um, that are um, that are out of the core focus area of bioastronautics, but we recognize that some courses, specific courses within aerospace engineering and mathematics are really core to the expectations of being an engineer. So these courses are the aerospace environment, which looks at the interaction of the spacecraft with the, uh, with the upper atmosphere, including radiation and electromagnetism, and spaceflight dynamics, which is a study of orbital mechanics. And then again, recognizing the importance of higher level math, there is a math a list of approved math courses, and it's necessary to take one of those courses. On the right hand column, you see some additional elective courses that students can choose from um, that provide additional training in experimental design and statistical methods, an in-depth exploration of spacecraft life support systems, a study of how humans interact with aerospace vehicles, an in-depth study of spacewalks or extravehicular activity, and finally, systems engineering. To talk a little bit more about the Medicine in Space and Surface Environments course, this is a course designed to bring together clinicians and engineers in an interdisciplinary environment to think about how engineers design medical systems that are used in the aerospace environment, and then how clinicians make use of those systems. So in this semester long course, uh, engineers receive uh, training in basic medicine. They, uh, they study uh, wilderness first aid curriculum and get a certification in wilderness first aid and CPR. And then the end of the course is a one week field experience at the Mars Desert Research Station. And while in the field, students uh, live and act as a Mars crew and perform extravehicular activities or spacewalks that a Mars crew might need to handle consistent with the scientific or operational objectives of a Mars crew. And then during those, uh, during those operations, we'll throw in a medical scenario at you and students will have to respond based on what they've learned in the course. And so that obviously involves some education about space medicine, but also involves training in basic operations, things like uh, communication or radio management, uh, transportation, working with a working with a large complex team in a real time field environment and requires application of that classroom knowledge into the field. The course is taught by a multidisciplinary faculty of both clinicians and engineers. On top of this course, uh, there's uh, we believe there's an important hands on component to engineering. And so um, uh, there will be a uh, an engineering design challenge um, that takes place um, during the course as well. There are several capstone options available in the engineering curriculum. So in addition to the core coursework, um, students will need to choose from one of these three capstone experiences. The first is to complete a master's thesis. Here you'd identify a research topic and work with an advisor um, to, com to complete research centered around experimentation or data analysis, hardware development, computational modeling. And we would be looking for a thesis that lives at the intersection of clinical medicine and aerospace engineering. And we would expect that these would normally result in a, a journal or conference paper. A second capstone experience option is a certificate. And here you'd complete a domain specific set of additional coursework um, that represents a, a, a subspecialty of expertise. So an example here is engineering management, where you could uh, complete additional courses in, um, in systems engineering or uh, communication in engineering uh, or engineering leadership, usually about three to four courses, um, depending on the certificate that is, uh, that is selected. And then a final option is graduate projects. And again, this is designed to emphasize the hands-on component of an engineering curriculum. And here students work in a 12-person team to design, build, and test an engineering system. 
um, in, in a, a, a mock uh, industry experience. Um, so this would be performed on campus over a two semester sequence in year four. And you can see some examples in the pictures here of uh, habitat designs um, that students have worked on, or in the lower right <clears throat> are conceptual drawings of a uh, medical module that might be part of a Mars habitat. In addition to that focus on the um, year in Boulder, students will obviously be completing a full medical school curriculum. And then there is a longitudinal curriculum to the program. We offer an elective for first year medical students in space and extreme environmental medicine, a, a survey course of how medical care is provided in these environments, um, as well as a focus on how medical systems are designed for spacecraft. On top of that, there will also be journal clubs and guest speakers. We're also seeking to uh, support students going to conferences. Here you can see an example of some of our students presenting at the annual Aerospace Medical Association conference. Um, and we will also be supporting uh, students performing rotations outside of the University of Colorado. We're really hoping to integrate the program with the rest of the space medicine world. And we, uh, we are very supportive of students pursuing some of the ex excellent uh, educational opportunities outside of the university. So a question you might ask is where do we think that you might go after this program? Well, we certainly expect that um, you will uh, pursue residency training in whatever specialty you are interested in. And then there's several options for diversification following that residency training. One is to uh, specifically pursue clinical aerospace medicine training. Um, and then go on to become a, a flight surgeon at NASA or a commercial space flight provider providing clinical care to astronauts. Another option um, that graduates of this program would be very well suited for is to uh, obtain research, engineering, or programmatic leadership positions, again, at a governmental space agency like NASA or a commercial space, space agency. And then a final model would be to be a traditional physician scientist, uh, as you might see uh, uh, all over medical schools, but where your area of research and funding um, is in the spaceflight world, looking for research funding from NASA or other entities. So to talk a little bit about the application cycle for 2023-2024, you would uh, first apply via AMCAS to the University of Colorado School of Medicine. And then uh, when you receive a secondary from the CU School of Medicine, there will be an option to identify the MDMS program in aerospace engineering on that application. And then there's a small uh, supplemental application that you would complete as part of the MDMS application. We will be performing interviews for the dual degree uh, for the dual degree program, and those may take place concurrently with an interview offer for the CU School of Medicine or may take place after that interview process. Uh, to provide some brief information on the prerequisites here, um, you have to complete all the required prerequisites for the School of Medicine. There's no exceptions to that. And then on top of that, uh, the prerequisites for the dual degree program include two semesters of calculus-based physics, um, in, uh, uh, in, as well as two semesters of upper division uh, STEM courses. You do not specifically need to be a STEM major that is certainly desirable, but is not a required component to the program. We also want to point out that we expect that students in this program will be adult learners with respect to their math skills. There are certainly math skills that are a required part of aerospace engineering uh, and aerospace engineering curriculum. And you may not come in with every one of those math skills, but we expect that you would be adult learners and we would help you to acquire those skills as a portion of the, uh, of the program. Here's a couple of resources for more information on the program, some websites for the bioastronautics group at CU Boulder, um, as well as uh, admissions to the, uh, to the graduate school at CU Boulder. Uh, on top of that, I've included my email and Dr. Anderson's email, and we would be more than happy to talk with you if you have any specific questions or if you have any interest in our program. So thank you very much for listening. We hope we've provided you a bit more information on the program, 
And again, please don't hesitate to re reach out if you have any questions. Thanks for your interest.